not so much out of America, but the name is global. So from year one, we were the biggest one. Nice for a Texan. We like that. Yeah. Appropriate. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I wanted to fast forward, you know, last year, uh, Earth, Earth X was approaching and lo and behold, uh, a global pandemic hit our shores and, and, uh, changed how things were going to look for Earth X. But instead of it, uh, derailing everything, it, it, things really skyrocketed for you. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happened? Well, I think that, yeah, I have learned in this 15 months or whatever has transpired since the aneurysm, 18, that COVID's had a lot of unintended blessings. You know, the irony of life, something goes wrong in one place and it benefits somewhere else. Just like in the environment, the, the dike is leaking, you put your finger in to fix an environmental problem and it pops up somewhere else. Uh, what happened with us was <clears throat> we canceled early on in March. We were one of the first large uh, meetings in America to cancel. We uh, canceled 700 exhibits. Uh, 450 speakers, most of them uh, high authorities, 15 conferences on different subjects, an amazing film festival and virtual reality and XR festival, a hackathon where kids around the world again solved uh, environmental problems digitally. Uh, our investment forum with venture capitalists and startups come and get funded. All those things we canceled, uh, it pivoted quickly in six weeks to take about half of those conferences online, ocean conference, uh, energy conference, and so forth, had about 600,000 viewers, and realized as we watched that, because it took about a week to see all that, that regardless of what happens with actual events in the future, and we will return to normal, and it will be mainly the old normal and some new normal, regardless of what happens, we will be online. And there's our most effective way to reach the greatest number of people with the most information internationally. We call it EarthX TV, its website and social media at this time. And I, I, I like to, to focus on EarthX TV that, like you said, that's something that really has during this time, uh, I, I guess, blown up kind of for you guys, for lack of a better word. But if you could talk about EarthX TV, uh, kind of where that is and where that's headed. Well, remember I told you the largest environmental gathering. We've had more. We've done it our style without reading the rule book. Otherwise, we might not have done it at all if we learned, realized how politically constricted people are and politically correct and what can't be talked about, like population, for instance. We realized that our greatest asset were speakers. Hey, if it's a film, they're talking. If it's a conference, they're talking. If it's a public stage, we even have a soapbox outside of Fair Park where people can say whatever they damn well please. Uh, the greatest asset was speakers. So... Again, the greatest reach would be the world has just turned out great. We, Because everybody was doing these Zooms because of COVID and, and still are, we were able to get in the TV business, if you will, without great costs because of a lot of Zoom conferences and Zoom panels and speakers. Uh, so we've, we're humming along with 50 hours of programming a week and... I believe right now we're upwards of 1.5 million viewers a week. I, I promise you, we've yet begun to fight because we haven't really called on all of our uh, exhibitors and speakers and conferees from around the country and the world to rally to this yet. We've just kind of got our feet wet. So there's a huge future out there. And, and I want to say there's nobody else doing this. If this is one of the most important things in the world, which I believe, why aren't there several TV stations addressing this and radio and so forth? There's not a single major media source with significant environmental news. So we'll be it, I hope. This is Deconstructing Dallas, Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams. We're visiting with EarthX founder, Trammell S. Crow. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back. Stick with us.
Deconstructing Dallas, Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams. Sean, Earth Day 2021 is upon us. And of course, we are joined today by Trammell S. Crow, the founder of EarthX. Trammell, tell us, you know, April 16th through April 25th is uh, EarthX 2021. Earth Day, of course, the 22nd. But tell us what you're excited about for this year's uh, event. Yeah, thank you. Tons excited about this this reincarnation that we've had as EarthX TV. Uh, we'll have uh, 50 hours of programming, different subjects addressed. We'll have uh, the Biden administration, John Kerry, two-day presentation of international climate matters. Uh, the, and incidentally, the politicians in D.C. have really been glad to join us if physically here or on program because they want a voice of reason uh, as opposed to spinning all the time. But the main thing are the pilot programs. We kind of act like real media people and got about seven uh, shows that will debut that have a high production uh, value, and we hope to have sponsored just like on regular TV. So we have ongoing series, Latin America. That will be sponsored. Uh, 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 athletic activism, uh, where athletes go out in nature and talk about the natural problems that they uh, confront, like in skiing and all the... the uh, lack of snow. Uh, so six different, seven different programs will come out that will be not just podcasts, not just talking heads, however smart they are, but real entertaining shows. Tremble, um, can you talk to us about eCapital? Tell us what that is and, and also the role that EarthX is playing in, in that realm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, the the eCapital Summit deals with startups and environment, and it's, it's mainly been uh, high-tech startups, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, the Seed Capital, Angel Investing, Series A, Series B, Series C of startups with high risk. Venture capitalists know how to make those investments, spread them out, and with diversification, moderate their risks and make money like you would in ordinary business. This movement to investing in clean tech, ocean tech, property tech, uh, renewable energy is uh, a whole tr part of a huge trend in the world, more in Europe than in America, but on the East Coast and the West Coast, the venture capitalists, the investment bankers are doing good and doing well. They're doing well financially and they're doing social good with impact investing. So we've had uh, last time 90 venture capital organizations from coast to coast, mainly not from Texas, but also Texas, and then about 90 startups. They're all hunting for a quarter million or more dollars for their first phase and they're still uh, 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 months or years from commercialization and, and uh, building a company at scale, but uh, things to take care of the problems we have, desalination, um, uh, uh, nuclear that had, doesn't have as many problems or different types of renewable energy, waste to energy, uh, and how to uh, uh, solve the landfill problems, and ag tech, that's the hot one right now. Man, it's it's also exciting to me. You know, um, I loved hearing during the break you were sharing about some of the uh, eye opening conversations and, and introductions. People have said, you know, oh, you you know, this is this has really changed my my outlook on life. I'd imagine you've had some some tough conversations, especially when it comes to climate change. How do you approach these uh, conversations, especially with people that say, oh, climate change doesn't exist? How do you approach those people and and, and you know, look to affect change in their, in their minds on this issue. Well, uh, we, we, we're a platform for others. So 
for the first few years of having Earth Day Dallas in our literature, we did not even print climate change because of the the uh, the, the attitudes in Dallas. But all of the exhibitors and speakers, uh, uh, or you know, most uh, are, are either warmists or uh, you know extremists or lukewarmists of some kind or other. Uh, but we're a platform, and we let the others speak to it. But to really answer your question, we uh, we present all sides. You know, there's your side, my side, and the truth. Uh, and that's not done in most environmental uh, conferences. They say the science is already in. Personally, I'm a warmist. You know, I believe in, in climate change. I think it's a big problem. But we uh, have had very few complaints of people saying you had a climate denier on the stage well honey uh he was trying to talk science the best he could (laughs) that's great and it's science guys it is science i feel like we've been in earth eggs kind of preaching science to republicans for the last few years and now I feel like we're kind of preaching science to the Democrats. <laughs> well, you know, this has been a lot of great information for our listeners. But I know from visiting the website that there's a lot more information out there for folks. So, so can you direct our listeners to where they can go to find out more information about EarthX and also the, the EarthX Expo? Yes, uh, we won't be having actual events this year. Everything will be virtual except the film festival and the EarthX Film Festival is the greatest environmental film festival in the world. Uh, it'll be going on for 10 nights, I believe. And the information's all at earthx.org and earthxtv.org. Well, we appreciate the time that you've given us today. We appreciate the work that you're doing. Uh, and we look forward to, to spending more time with you and, and being involved. Thank you all. And I'll see you. April 22, 2022. All right, this is Deconstructing Dallas. Sean Williams, Ryan Trumbull. We'll be right back right after this. Constructing Dallas, Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams. Sean, awesome interview. Always love hearing from Tremble. Uh, and appreciate him coming on to talk with us and our audience about Earth X and all that entails. Yes, and uh, you know, for sure, a shout out to our friend Lynn McBee, who is executive director there now at Earth X and all the folks who helped us get this set up because this was of great benefit um, and especially as we're approaching Earth Day. So thanks again to Tramless Crow and, um, you know, looking forward to getting involved. Yeah. Speaking of uh, getting involved, I guess you're going to be getting involved in uh, getting, getting your, your buddy and your co-host to pay up on his, on his loot, his loss of the bet of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I'm going to get involved in uh, some Haystack Burger from downstairs is what I'm going to get involved in and some fries uh, at the appropriate time because um, I was, I mean, and I I crafted this bet because I knew, I know you well enough now after our fourth year here that the underdog was 